Hello and welcome to another one. In this class, we will check out the next question. What is the comparison between perfect competition and monopoly? Okay, SAQ 23, compare perfect competition and monopoly. Now, we know the features of perfect competition. We also know the features of monopoly. So, let us check out what are all the differences between perfect competition and monopoly. So, introduction on the basis of competition market is classified into perfect competition and imperfect competition and you know that monopoly is a type of imperfect competition of course there are certain similarities between perfect competition and monopoly what are all the similar similarities we can find in both the markets the main aim of the seller is to get maximum profit any rational seller for that matter even though under perfect competition also the main aim of the seller is to get maximum profit and in both the markets the equilibrium is attained when mc is equal to mr okay that is the similarity but apart from that there are a lot of differences between monopoly and the perfect competition so let us check out one by one what are all those differences okay so first one under perfect competition we know that the main feature is there are large number of buyers and sellers but whereas in monopoly there is only single seller and many buyers second one free entry and exit of firms isn't it in for perfect competition new firms can enter into the market when existing firms are making abnormal profits and uh, or existing firms can leave the market when they are incurring losses but whereas in monopoly no free entry and exit of firms isn't it there are barriers for entry of new firms that's why he is only a single seller in the market okay now third one homogeneous product so all the pro uh, sellers they sell identical commodity under perfect competition isn't it so we have checked isn't it? the cross elasticity is infinite in perfect competition but whereas in the monopoly third one the product may or may not be homogeneous see it is a kind of unique product you cannot you can neither say it is a homogeneous nor it is a heterogeneous because it is only a single product isn't it so it is kind of unique product so it may or may not be homogeneous okay then fourth one perfect substitute goods because the products sold under perfect competition are identical they are perfect substitute but whereas in monopoly we know that no close substitute goods okay fifth one difference between industry and firm in perfect competition isn't it there are large number of sellers large number of firms all those firms constitute an industry so industry is different and firm is different in perfect competition but what about monopoly industry and firm are one and the same so he is the only seller he is the whole industry and both he himself is the firm and the industry and the sixth one in perfect competition buyers and sellers are price takers that is they have to accept the price decided by the industry isn't it we have checked how the price is determined under the perfect competition based on market demand and market supply uh, equilibrium price is determined based on market demand and market supply and that price has, has to be accepted by all the sellers and all the buyers so buyers and sellers are price takers in perfect competition but what about monopoly the seller is a price maker but the seller can determine either price or output at a time but not both isn't it because his average revenue curve is sloping downwards either he can fix the price or the sales both together he cannot determine at a particular time but still he is the price maker he is not a price taker he is a price maker and seventh one uniform price prevails of the goods as the goods are homogeneous this is one of the very important conditions under perfect market isn't it we have checked so the price determined by the industry has to be accepted by all the sellers and no one has got any right to change the price of the commodity so uniform price prevails all over the market but whereas in monopoly price varies according to demand okay so the monopolies he can practice price discrimination so price discrimination when i was explaining in the elasticity of demand importance of elasticity of demand uh, i have explained to you how it is useful to the monopolist he can practice price discrimination he can charge higher price for in the inelastic market and a lower price in the elastic market for the same commodity or uh, service so that is possible in the under uh, 
uh, monopoly price varies according to demand that is according to the elasticity of demand but whereas in perfect competition there is no chance of changing the price there should be only one price all over the market and the eighth one price ar and mr are the same and this line is parallel to ox axis that is price is equal to ar and mr but whereas in case of monopoly ar and mr curves are different and they slope downward that is price is equal to ar which is greater than mr let me explain to you with the help of a diagram here okay see in perfect competition what is happening so this is the shape of the average revenue curve in perfect competition okay what the seller can your x axis we are representing output on y axis we are representing price so we know that the seller cannot change the price so the price is fixed at op and the seller he can sell any amount of commodity at this price okay so you can sell whatever the commodity at op price he can sell oq amount of price uh, commodity he can sell oq1 amount of commodity so the price will not change the seller can sell any amount of commodity at this prevailing price okay now this is the average revenue curve remember always price line is the uh, ar is equal to price the price line is the average revenue curve so this is average revenue which is equal to there is since there is no change in the price the marginal revenue curve will also coincide with the average revenue curve and this is equal to price okay this is under perfect competition and what about the monopoly in monopoly you know that if the seller wants to increase the sales he has to decrease the price of the commodity or in other words the average revenue curve slopes downwards in monopoly isn't it so now this is sorry so x y as usual we are representing output on the y x axis and price on the price revenue both the, here also price or revenue on the y axis now what is happening here the average revenue curve in monopoly it slopes downwards this is the average revenue curve and this is the marginal revenue curve now why it is sloping downwards because in monopoly if the producer has to increase the sales he has to decrease the price of the commodity okay so he can uh, either this if it is if the prices this is the maximum if he has to increase the sales what the seller has to do he has to fix the prices p1 and this is q1 q2 p2 okay so the seller or this the seller has to decrease the price if he has to increase the sales so that is why it is a downward sloping line okay now you know that here average revenue is equal to price that we all know but here you can see that the marginal revenue is lesser than average revenue okay or ar is greater than mr price is equal to ar which is greater than mr okay so this is under monopoly so that's what it is explained okay so that is the last point price ar and mr are the same and this line is parallel to ox axis in perfect competition but whereas in monopoly ar and mr curves are different they are not the same and they slope downwards price is equal to ar which is greater than mr okay so thus these are all the some of the differences between perfect competition and monopoly in the last 8 point 8 point Uh, just now i have explained you with the help of a diagram you can include the diagram also the presentation will be 
the of the answer will be good okay hope you have understood if you have any doubts please mention them in the comment box so otherwise if you find this video useful please like share and also subscribe to my youtube channel okay so until my next class take care bye bye